Welcome back guys to another video and we'll be taking a look at the Beagle Bone Green Wireless by Seed Studio. Now I know it's a mouthful name but this is a pretty awesome product. Now this is the first time I'll be using a Beagle Bone of any kind. So this review will be my impressions on the general Beagle Bone environment itself and the IoT specific modifications we get in the Beagle Bone Green Wireless. So let's start with a bit of unboxing. Inside the box we get the main unit itself, a micro USB to USB A cable and two external antennas for the onboard Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. Although during my testing I never required these antennas as the internal one is good enough but since this project is designed specifically for the internet of things market. This is a nice inclusion. Let's talk about hardware for a bit. This device comes uh, equipped with Texas Instruments AM3358 1GHz ARM Cortex-A8 processor, 512MB of DDR3 RAM, 4GB of onboard 8-bit eMMC storage, uh, 3D graphics accelerator uh, which is not much of use but it's there. A uh, neon floating point accelerator so this is pretty useful stuff uh, if you are programming some uh, heavy and stuff that would use a lot of floating point calculations uh, we also get two PRU 32 bit microcontrollers so they are actually like broad terms uh, tiny Arduinos built into the beagle bone itself so they are separated from the uh, main CPU and can work independently next we also have a uh, USB client for power and communication so that would be your uh, micro USB port 4 USB 2.0 hosts so this is a very nice inclusion but what I think that there could have been only two and that would have reduced the uh, total height of the device and uh, made it easier to fit uh, in uh, tight places but um, uh, four are better than two also we instead of an ethernet port we get onboard wi-fi 802.11bgn uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, module and bluetooth 4.1 uh, low energy uh, module as well all packed into uh, one nice uh, module next we all have the uh, famous uh, 2 into 46 pin headers now beaglebone is famous for its plethora of uh, pin headers now these includes these include many many uh, io ports like uh, mac asp0 spi i squared c gpio lcd uh, gpmc mmc uh, and timers and serial ports and uh, so many more ports uh, that you can actually use on the provided pin headers so uh, this is what actually differentiates uh, something like a beagle bone from raspberry pi and its clones it actually has a ton of uh, interfaces and expansion connectors that you can use so um yes um and next we have instead of the hdmi port we have two groove connectors now this might confuse some people that a single board computer in this day and age not having an hdmi port on board but take a look uh, from the product's point of view it's the product is made to be uh, exclusively for iot purposes and being an iot device it would probably never ever in its lifetime see a screen at all uh, leave alone something like uh, HDMI uh, monitor so talking about no HDMI port Seed Studio did mention that their HDMI cape would work fine so I requested them to send one and it didn't work after literally days of fiddling around with various operating systems directly provided by Beaglebone and by Seed Studio uh, I couldn't get it to work I tried many combinations nothing worked so finally I received uh, a reply from Seed Studio stating that the cape is in fact not yet compatible with the Beaglebone Green of course pending software support so they said that they are working on it 
but uh, I have got no deadline for it as yet and since the cape is not an integral part of the product I'll uh, move on and I'll not let it affect my review so moving on inside the box we also get a user manual that instructs on how to set up the device talking about setting up the device seed studio made it that simple the beagle bone comes equipped with a linux based operating system and all we need is a laptop desktop or a smartphone with wi-fi and power supply for beagle bone i'll be using my power bank for that next simply connect your device to beagle bone by connecting uh, to the beagle bone's own wireless ap and then point your browser to 192.168.7.2 which would in fact bring up uh, the web app to connect the beagle bone to your local network enter the required details and you will be able to access it from any device in your local network and since we do not have an hdmi port uh, this is specially useful programming on the beagle bone is very simple thanks to the web based cloud9 ide as you can see i have attached a groove based accelerometer and all we need to do is simply open up a web browser on a device connected to the same network as that of the beagle bone and type in the beagle bone's ip address this will bring us to the web page from which we we can navigate to the cloud9 ide and this is from where we can take full control of our beagle bone we can execute python and javascript programs as i'll be doing for the accelerometer and this also provide us with a command line terminal for us to directly interact with the BeagleBone Green Wireless. Alongside the Cloud9 IDE, we can also use the Node-RED which is very useful alternative and supports a flowchart like programming interface. To conclude, I would like to say that the BeagleBone in general was never made to be a general purpose computer like the Raspberry Pi. Instead, it was always intended to be a low power open source hardware single board computer to be used as onboard computers for robots, home automation and other similar projects. So these projects in, are mostly where that required a lot of uh, external ports and GPIOs and as we can see with the vast amount of uh, external GPIOs available uh, a lot can actually be done so the BeagleBone W builds on the same uh, model to provide a low power IoT only device and it is a great choice for complex IoT projects and at the end I would like to say that the BeagleBone Green Wireless is definitely not the jack of all trades but it could surely be the master of IoT. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.